Hi there. Welcome to Sumit Academy. I hope that you are keeping up with my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss out on my previous or future videos. In this video, the fourth in the series of seven videos on the selection procedure at the Services Selection Boards, we shall continue to learn about the main testing procedure. After the psychological tests, some candidates go through the group tests while the remaining candidates have their personal interviews scheduled. They take turns from group tests to interviews on subsequent days. In group test, tasks to be performed are group activities which a candidate has to perform along with other group members. The group testing officer or the GTO observes the actions and behaviors of the aspirants to infer their qualities. Unlike the individual testing in isolation as in the case of psychological test, group testing technique judges their ability to work as a group and their functional capacity. It helps to judge the potential of each individual and make selections on the basis of their suitability to be a part of the armed forces. An effective team member is the ideal candidate the GTO is looking for during the group tasks. The group tasks consist of nine tasks to assess the personality and the individuality of each candidate. These are firstly the basic series consisting of the group discussion, the group planning exercise, the progressive group tasks and the group obstacles. These are called the basic series. Secondly, the confirmatory series consisting of half group task, lecturate, individual obstacles and command task or CT. Finally, there will be the final series consisting of the final group task. So let us start with the group discussion. This is conducted in two rounds. In the first round, candidates have an option to choose one topic from out of two given to them. In the second round, only one topic is given and candidates have to discuss amongst themselves. Each discussion generally lasts 15 minutes or so. The candidates are seated around in a semicircle and the GTO briefs the candidates about the procedure and rules to be followed. The GTO seats himself at a vantage position from where he can observe the group and hear the speakers. He will generally not interfere, interfere during the discussions. But yes, if you people fight, then he may, if the situation so demands, and signal the end of discussion through a bell. The nature of topic selected for the first round indicates the average level of the candidates. You must actively participate in deciding a topic from those given to the group. Two aspects are important here. First is the quality of content of what you speak and the second is your communication and interpersonal skills. Because besides command over language, interpersonal skills contribute towards becoming an effective member of the group. Eye contact is essential. Look at the person who is speaking in his eyes. Also, when speaking, address all group members. Tone, tenure and modulation along with body gestures display confidence. You must speak loudly, clearly 
and with enthusiasm. Make your point with sensible arguments. At the same time, appreciate the good points of others. Speaking in monosyllable or single sentences does not leave any impact. Concentrate on three to five major points and elaborate with supporting arguments to contribute to the discussion. Initiating the discussion and closing will of course add to the impact, although all the, all the group members cannot do that. But do remember that there is a difference between discussion and arguments. Avoid a chaotic situation. The second task in the series of group testing is the group planning exercise or military planning exercise. This is designed to check the behavior of candidates when put under a stress series of stressful situations. Grasp, identifying problems, prioritization, finding solutions, decision making ability, and quick reaction of a candidate are things that are going to be checked here. The GTO will explain a model on a wooden plank or a chart. Candidates are permitted to ask any question at the end of the explanation. Then the GTO reads a story from the card. Listen with full attention while he reads this. Thereafter, candidates can read the story for 5 minutes from the story cards placed in their chairs and correlate it with their model. Make a mental picture of everything because after 5 minutes, these story cards will be taken away from you. Candidates are asked to write their own solution to various problems on a sheet of paper. Time allowed is 10 minutes. This is the only written part in the group test. The writing sheet is then taken away and the group is expected to discuss and arrive at a common plan for the problem and then nominate a person to summarize the group plan. Generally, there are four problems in a typical group planning exercise. The first involves immediate reaction and must be assigned first priority. Second kind of problem allows some time for reaction. Third problem is comparatively less serious. Additionally, there is one silly problem. Assign it the least priority. Focus on and develop ability to identify these problems. And as usual, do a Google search and practice so that you are prepared for this test too. Clarify all doubts with the GTO before you start writing your solution. Do not feel shy. The loss will be yours. Create a clear mental picture of the problem and start thinking of solutions. Be clear with your ideas and approach. There is no right or wrong solution. Identify and utilize all possible resources given or available. During the group discussion, support the group to formulate the best possible plan. Do not always stick to your plan by being obstinate. If someone has a better idea than yours, accept it and contribute your bit to the group plan. Generally, discussion in the group planning exercise is chaotic. Like the group discussion and no group solution is formed. Do remember that? So don't panic if this cannot be settled. Well, that's all from me in this the fourth video on the SSB selection procedure. We shall continue in the fifth video in this series. Do like this video and subscribe to my channel 
so that you do not miss out on my previous or future videos. And if you want to, do drop in a line to sumitacademy20 at gmail.com. I gratefully acknowledge the information, guidance and help rendered to me by the officers previously posted to the Army and the Air Force SSBs and in particular to Anand Verma for publicly sharing a booklet on the subject. Till later then. Cheers.